This Thank is you. so stupid. Yeah, <laughs> I know this because my titties are low thanks to gravity. Yay. <laughs> A personal really, anecdote. Can we just also say we don't actually need gravity? Because it's not real. Center of gravity is not a real thing. It is a hypothetical concept. Ask any physicist, they would tell you. It is a hypothetical point around which a rigid object's mass is evenly distributed. Aren't you tired of hearing these experts who are supposed to be experts in biomechanics or movement arts or martial arts? go on and on trying to explain things based on the center of gravity. You can't explain the interactions of a complex system like a human body, which is very, very, very complex, using crude second grade rigid body mechanics. Now let's not get confused and convolute between the perceptual models and the interpretation thereof of how we use to model consciously the neuromuscular control phenomena that we are working with and the physical reality of the substrate. The most important principle of operation when it comes to interaction between two or more human beings is the saying that is translated in the Tai Chi Chuan classics as my opponent doesn't know me, only I know my opponent. What that means is that from a neuromuscular control and biomechanics point of view, my opponent does not understand how I operate. Only I comprehend how my opponent operates. Now, how does this come into play? Why is this important? The human body is not a bag of hammers. It is not composed of a collection of rigid objects. The human body is a complex instrument that is composed fundamentally of elastic elements and compression elements. Now this compressibility can be the rigid comp compressibility of the bones or the viscosity of muscle compartments or the pneumatic nature of air in the lungs. So fundamentally, internal arts are about neuromuscular control, whether it is the modification of the neuromuscular control to use your body in an unconventional way to generate unusual power, or when you interact with one or more human beings, it is about neuromuscular control that creates biomechanics that they don't either consciously or unconsciously comprehend. So why is this important? Let's take a step back. In terms of human movement and power, we require postural stability maintenance and the right kind of force generation and balance in maintaining posture against gravity is a large part of the postural control but also the structural integrity is a part of this postural control. Have you ever tried pushing an object that you thought was very heavy only to find out it was very light and in the process of pushing it, you lose your balance? Have you stepped on an escalator that is not moving, that you visually recognize as not moving, and when you step on it, feel that you're about to lose balance? This is because the human mind models the response that you're going to get from an object and the physical interaction with it based on your past experience. The human mind uses models derived from past experience when it comes to things that you interact with in the physical world. Now, parts of this model is based on your own inner knowledge or your inner model that you've generated for yourself based on learning movement since you were a toddler. You can understand modalities of movement that you yourself are capable of when it comes to other human beings. The phenomenon of na or seizing in Taiji Chuan, for example, is entirely based upon this discrepancy of neuromuscular control comprehension 
between two parties. In Taijuan, we do not apply power unless we have achieved the state of na. Again, we go back to only I know my opponent. My opponent does not know me. Process of na that makes people unable to seemingly exert pressure on you or affect you, or bounce off when you apply certain kinds of power, is completely based on this principle that they have been seized already, which means their minds do not know how to apply the right neuromuscular controls to withstand the forces that are being put on them. So therefore, the forces can be very, very, very small and have a large effect. So if he goes slack, it's very difficult to get the force in. To have a partner that's noodly themselves, stay very noodly, is tricky. Okay. So if you don't have the skill of Najin, which freezes and catches their structure, despite the noodle arms, you can't get them. And how do I know this? I know this because I can do a decent amount of these things. There is absolutely nothing magical about internal movement arts, for the most part. We can explain all that by physics, but not the second grade rigid body mechanics a lot of these rocket scientists are applying to analyze this phenomena. Now, that does not mean that there are no phenomena involved in these internal practices that are very hard to pin down using conventional physics. But a lot of these things are not really in the domain of internal movement arts. They're rather in the domain of things like Taoist alchemy or spiritual practices. So you understand, he is noodly, okay? In order to stop him being noodly, I have to catch his structure. So even when noodly, I have him, okay? Even if he tries to be as soft as you can. <laughs> Nearly goes through the glass. Sorry, Blaster. He cannot, because I have another kind of gin. The reason why na or seizing works in the way it does is because of the very complex torques and multidimensional force vectors involved. If you had fairly linear force vectors involved that we see in conventional movement for the most part, Seizing will not be possible because the person that you're applying to will have an perhaps unconscious model where they understand or rather their bodies understand what neuromuscular control mechanisms that they need to use to be able to counter that. One of the most important skills, neuromuscular skills, in the internal movement arts is the ability to generate the right kind of power with these complex torques and multidimensional force vectors without that compromising your balance. So you want to make the process that you maintain balance and the process that you use to generate force fairly independently variable. Listen to me now. 